Welcome to Concept Control's YouTube channel. This is going to cover the physical setup of a typical Ray mesh guard system and the Concept Control's wireless alarm bar. Please keep in mind that this is just one of the many possible configurations. Our hope is that this video provides you with enough information to be able to set it up the way you need it. For this example, we are mounting the LEL detector and the battery to the Concept Control stand and powering it with solar panels. Even though ours is a solar configuration, the 120 VAC setup is the exact same. First you want to mount the LEL detector housing to the power pack back pan. Just use the supplied cap head screws and mount it directly. We only use two screws, but for the most secure fit, you can use all four. Next, you can mount the power pack battery onto the back pan. This is easily done by lining up the studs on the back pan with the mounting holes on the battery and letting gravity lock it into place. Just be sure that all studs are engaged on the battery housing. There is a little arm to the top left of the battery. If you swing this over and screw it down, it will prevent the battery from being able to move upward and unlocking the battery from the back pan. Now we can plug the battery into either the solar panel or the 120 VAC power supply. Unscrew the power in cap and screw in your cable. Note the reference detent on the plug. It can only be plugged in with the proper orientation. Next, plug in the power cord to the LEL detector. You will need to use the special open-ended box wrench to get around the cable and tighten the connection. Make sure it's screwed all the way down or the detector may not power up. Then slide the cable and the detector into the housing. Close the housing lid and screw it down. Attach the antenna. Plug the other end of the LEL power cord to the battery. This can be done the same way as the other battery connection except this time you're going to connect the LEL detector to power out. The H2S units can run on an internal battery. To install the battery, just place the battery positive side first into the housing. Start screwing the battery cap by hand and then finish it off with a special wrench supplied with the mesh guard. Then place the detector into the metal housing, close the lid, and screw it down. Attach the splash guard which is also needed on the LEL detectors. Then install the antenna. Moving on to the FMC controller. You need to plug it into a 120 VAC power supply. The weatherproof housing around the plug can slide down the cord if needed. You need to open the front of the FMC controller to turn it on. Pop open the key lock cover, insert the key and unlock. Open the front of the FMC. Inside by the SD card slot you'll see a little toggle switch. Flip that to the on position. The FMC should power up. If your FMC has been modified to work with the wireless link and the wireless alarm bars, you need to plug in the host unit into the FMC. Check the orientation of the connector before trying to plug it in. Attach your antenna. Now you can power up the wireless alarm bar. Depending on the version you have, you'll be plugging the alarm bar into either the 120 VAC power supply or solar power supply. Either way, the connection point is found in the same spot. Thank you for watching. Please take a moment to like and share the video. You can also connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and follow us on LinkedIn via the video description below. Want to be the first to know when a new video is released? Click subscribe and get notifications directly to your inbox. We're also available if you need more information. Visit www.conceptcontrols.com and give us a call today.